Coast Guard is working to salvage the dive boat that burned off the Southern California coast, leaving 34 people dead. It's a delicate operation, and they're trying to keep the vessel called Conception intact for further investigation. Authorities have found the remains of 33 people, and they're searching for the last missing victim. This evening, we're learning about two more victims with Bay Area ties. 26-year-old Wei Tan was a recent UC Berkeley grad. Her family is waiting for DNA testing to be completed. Palo Alto research scientist Sunil Singh Sandhu was also killed in the fire. The 46-year-old's father says he earned degrees from Stanford. Both Sandhu and Tan were born in Singapore. Today, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff said all of the victims sleeping in tight quarters below deck had signs of smoke inhalation, and a preliminary exam shows that they died before being burned. Federal ATF agents have now joined in the investigation, and at this point, there is no criminal investigation. Well, whatever the investigation finds, KPI X5's Don Ford reports the boat's owners could draw on a 19th century law to keep the victims' families from seeing any compensation. It's a law that's been on the books now since before the Civil War. It's called the Vessel Owners Limitation of Liability Act of 1851. Truth Aquatics, the owner of the Conception Dive Boat, has filed a petition asking a federal judge in Los Angeles to eliminate its financial liability to the victim's families. Maritime attorney John Hillsman says he's seen this tactic before. The principle behind it is that when a vessel is involved in a maritime casualty, the owner's liability is limited to the value of the vessel and its pending freight and whatever uh, money is due to the vessel after the casualty. After the event. After, after the after event. After the sinking, the, the, the catastrophe. That's correct. The burned hulk of the conception now lies in the bottom of the Pacific. Truth Aquatics claims in filed court documents that the value is zero. They will serve summons on all 33 families, in fact, on all 34 families, because there was one crewman involved in this tragedy, and require them to appear in admiralty without a jury where the issue of both li liability in the first instance and limitation will be tried to a federal district judge. One of the most famous vessels to use the law for protection was the Titanic. Debris and lifeboats were appraised at approximately $96,000, and nearly 1,500 families had to split that sum. The owners of the Deepwater Horizon also used this law after one of the worst marine oil spills ever. Unfortunately, that's just kind of a normal cause of action in maritime law, and this is the, the action that is vice to us and we need to take. In San Francisco, Don Ford, KPIX 5.